Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about FaceGood Avatari and FaceGood Helmet. Now, as you all know, I've been using FaceGood for almost a year and a half now. And so far, obviously, I've been pretty impressed uh, with the quality that you get out of the FaceGood system. So with that being said, last Friday, FaceGood came out with some pretty incredible news. And that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about today. So first things first, they came out with a new mocap helmet. So if I go to facegood.cc right here and I click on download avatari, we're going to take a look at the hardware first. And actually, you can see the announcement right here already. So if you want to check that out, you can. So let's take a look at the hardware real quick. And I'm going to scroll down here. And what we're looking for is the D2 2022 helmet. Now, what this helmet is going to let you do is shoot 60 frames per second infrared. And it is super, super duper lightweight. Now, when Jello sent me the first D2 camera, it was 30 frames per second. And right away, the very first thing I told him was, we're going to need a 60 frames per second version of this. And then obviously he told me, all right, well, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at it. And now they came out with it. Now, the crazy thing about this is the price of this mocap helmet is $470. To me, that is just insane because there are a lot of companies out there who are just selling an iPhone holder helmet mount pretty much a helmet with an iphone folder hooked up to it and they're selling those for around 1200 euros which is like 1200 to 1400 dollars and they are selling there's no cameras no nothing it's really just an iphone holder that holds your phone for you so phase good pricing this at 470 dollars per helmet 60 frames per second 1080p again that's just insane um so if you want to check that out, go ahead. But to me, minimum for facial animation mocap, you need at least a 60 frames per second mocap helmet. And $460, $470, that is the perfect introduction for a mocap helmet if you're looking into it. And another thing that they released last Friday is that they announced that the Avatar software, which is the face good software, is now free without limitations. So let's take a look at that real quick. If I go to pricing now, now we're going to see all the packages that is currently right now as of December 11, 2022, as far as face good packages go. Now, there are a lot of confusion right now as to what this looks like. But as of right now, and I'm pretty sure Jello is going to correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong, Avatari is now free. What are you getting in the free Avatari software? So instead of just talking about it, let me go ahead and show you what you're going to be getting. So if I go here, this is my free avatar account. You're going to see that we have a streamer, tracker, retargeter, and we also have a live drive and Seattle AI and Batch Robot. What I want you to focus on right now is the first three. The streamer lets you record facial animation video. Think of it as a video recorder. The tracker is what you use to track your facial features. And with that being said, if you want to see the entire tutorial on how this works right now, I'm going to put my tutorial that I created last year in the description below. After you're done with tracking, you're now going to retarget the facial animation to Maya. And in there, you can do your animation layers, further tweak it, and then export an FBX to be used to your metahuman characters. And again, Check out the entire video that I created. It's going to show you from Creator of the Grave. In my humblest opinion, this right here is the best facial animation mocap system tracking, solving, whatever you want to call it, available right now. For them to make this free doesn't even make sense to me. Like when Jello told me a couple of months back, say, hey, we're thinking about making it free. And I automatically said, how, how are y'all going to eat? Like, that's crazy, dude. Like, that's insane. Because again, you have no idea how powerful the avatar offline solve is. This is what I call an avatar offline solve. Because you have to manually solve yourself. And as of today, as of Friday, it is absolutely free. Zero dollars, no limitations. You can use it with your meta humans. And it is absolutely fantastic. If you want to see some examples of this 
I'm going to again link some videos that I use the offline method with in the description below of this video right here, including in the free avatar software that you can sign up for right now. There's also this thing called Live Drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I'm gonna choose 2D. Just a reminder, we are still talking about the free avatar right now. It includes a Live Drive solver. The free version of avatar comes with Seattle AI AR kit, which is in beta right now. What this is going to let you do is either record using your camera here. So you can see I have a P1 helmet here, or you can import videos in here. Okay. So I have a couple in here. Actually, let's go ahead and use this as an example. I'm going to put Hunu right here and you can either do real time capture or video import. And what this is going to do after I change the name here to face good and I click start, this is going to shoot the facial animation that's coming from this feed right here, straight to Unreal Engine MetaHuman. Obviously you can have to set up the blueprints, but I'm talking to Jello. Maybe we can get like a project that's already set up so you don't have to set anything up. But again, in my humblest opinion, this AR kit version right here is better than the iPhone AR kit. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about potential customers here. So if you want to solve your facial animation offline, you can buy a face good helmet and solve your facial animation for free. Like I said, like in the tutorial that I put in the link in the description. Additionally, if you want to drive your meta humans live with no solving, zero solving, zero waiting, you can also use the Seattle AI AR kit. Again, included in a free version. And obviously I'm going to make a tutorial about the Seattle AR kit as well, but I'm just making this introduction first so that we can kind of clear the room out a little bit because there's some confusion in there. Okay. So those are some of the things that you're going to get with the avatar free version. And let's take a look at the avatar enterprise basic. It is $5,200 a year. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up real quick. Here we are now in the avatar enterprise edition. If you look at the top left corner of this video, you're going to see a little ribbon that says enterprise. So Jay, this looks just like the free version. You're absolutely right. But if I now click live drive right here and I click on 2d, you're now going to see that now I have access to the Seattle AI meta human. Again, this is still in beta. So similarly with the free version, I can type in face good. I can import a video in here or do it live. Like we did earlier with just my camera streaming straight in. I can now use the Seattle AI meta human. Well, Jay, what is the difference between the AR kit and the meta human? The Seattle AR kit only uses a couple of hundred of blend shapes. If I remember correctly, the meta human version of this uses majority, if not all of the meta human facial bones. If you're familiar with the meta human facial bones, there are a crap ton of them. So the difference between the AR kit and meta human is actually quite drastic. Now I just uploaded a video today showing you the Seattle AI meta human. And again, I'm going to show you that in the link in the description below. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty darn impressed. Similarly to the air kit, there's no pre-training involved. It is strictly plug and play. I record a video or I import a video. I choose Seattle meta human, click start, and it's going to feed my unreal engine meta human facial animation straight away. Again, we're going to have to set up the blueprints, which is fairly easy. And again, I'm trying to talk to Jello. Maybe we can have a project that we can just kind of send to everybody so you can just open it and you're ready to go. So the Seattle AI meta human, again, is still in beta is one of the things that you're actually paying for whenever you're paying for the enterprise edition. So if we go back to the website now, so you're going to see live drive support, Seattle AR kit and Seattle AI meta human real time algorithm driver. If you go to the free version, you're going to see that it only supports Seattle AR kit. All right. Okay. So you do have a couple more options down here, which is avatar enterprise pro, but to be honest, 
I'm not going to talk about that because I know majority of the people here on the channel are really just between these two packages right here. It wouldn't make sense for me to cover that. That's just too much money. With that being said, let me go ahead and wrap this up with my thoughts. And again, let me go ahead and give this a disclaimer. I did not get paid to say any of this or make this video at all. I'm making this to really help you all make a decision. That's all I do here on the channel. And all I'm doing is just letting you know how this works. But I'm going to give you my two cents on this. Because there are a lot of people right now that are still kind of mad that the yearly is still $5,200. And it's frustrating me a little bit because at some point, we have to ask ourselves, do we really need the Seattle AI meta human? Or are we just really getting greedy with it? And it, it is frustrating for me because the Seattle offline method beats the Seattle AI meta human. The only difference is that the manual method, you are going to have to track yourself and you're going to have to retarget yourself, which takes a little bit more time. But the quality you're getting with the free offline solve can beat the automatic meta human Seattle. Okay. And that is really the frustrating part of it. A lot of people are thinking just because the avatar is free is free, it's not good. And they're automatically looking at the $5,200 a year and are getting upset about that. Back to the helmet thing $469 for a helmet with a camera and 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 some people out there still don't think that face good is being indie friendly there's a difference between indie friendly and just giving away stuff for free just for charity like people these people still have to eat they still have to feed their family they still have to make some kind of money out of this here at the end of the day, you don't have to get the $5,200 a year. You don't need Seattle AI MetaHuman at all. You can use the free version and it works fantastically. And then again, I'm going to give you another example to just, again, put this whole thing into perspective. Last year, I was looking around some freelance websites and I was trying to get a quote for a facial animation for a MetaHuman. It's going to be about a minute and 30 seconds. And I got the quote of $650 for a 1.5 minute of facial animation. And I can guarantee you, it would probably not even look as good as the MetaHuman in Seattle here. Now I'm saying that because for the $5,200 a year, that is unlimited Seattle MetaHuman AI. There's no limitation whatsoever. But, but yeah, I'm sorry this video got a little bit longer than I wanted. But I really just wanted to let you all know this and really just kind of talk to you all about these different offerings. And it might change eventually. Um, I know some people would like to get the $5,200 a year, maybe in a monthly increment instead of just paying an entire year, which I totally understand. I'm totally cool with that. But obviously, that's going to be a face good decision. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you all want to get some amazing facial animations for your meta humans, this is it right here. The Avatari free. I've already converted a lot of people to Avatari. Low key for real. Even some professionals are already looking into this right here. And the best thing of it all is that if you don't like Avatari free, you can ask for a refund, which is zero. All right. That's pretty much it. I hope you'll learn something new today. If you all have any questions, let me know. And I'll see y'all later.